one month and nine and a half minutes. Did some filming of Surfing's Month. Got to see Tyler throw some tail. And Satya made fun of me and Mom trying to do yoga. I'm still stiff, okay? Uh, went to the Eternal Dillard's, sampled like 35 perfumes. Maybe a slight exaggeration. Closest thing to a psychedelic experience for me was listening to the Mars Volta after that. Watched the sunset with Melissa. Then watched Barry Lyndon. It's a very good movie. Mark Santoli gifted me this deck. And uh, so I bought some wheels, trucks, got it all outfitted. And joined Santoli uh, the next weekend for some skating at Santa Rosa Bowl. A new dude we met, Luciano, gave me some pointers and helped me overcome something with just a really great bit of advice that just, like, unlocked part of my brain. I was able to do something I haven't done before. So it's fun making some progress in the bowl. Uh, the new board's helping out a lot. We stopped back by Clint's ramp, and Santoli showed us his rock and roll, and that inspired me, gave me some courage to face my fear Grab and attempt to drop in on the ramp. Yeah. Right on. Uh, don't forget <laughs> this is so uh... Are you not doing yoga? Oh, he just had a shower. <laughs> As I mentioned in the violin vlog, did some uh, maintenance on the violin, trying to get it back in working order. And uh, it's, it's feeling a little happier now. We joined my friend Kate and her husband Eddie for Dosa Night at Holy. And we got Rohan to try some Pani Puri. Would you eat it again? I tried the tandoori shrimp, which was actually quite good. And how was your dosa? It was good. Thoroughly enjoyed it. The samber was nice. It just was a little on the small side. John, a.k.a. Papa Surf at Mr. Surf's, uh, put us on a mission and rewarded me with 10 bars of wax. And then we found this guy trying to get in the surf shop. <laughs> He's trying to get into the surf shop, man. Look at this. Get yourself a new mascot here. Oh, I didn't even know. This is awesome. <laughs> he just showed up. <laughs> that is so weird. Unfortunately, Ford's mom is having to move last minute, so we're all trying to get things cleaned up. But the good thing was wow, Satya so organized really her room. Cleaning it up. Yes, but the main thing here is my Whoa, closet. and you clean the closet too? Yeah, so I reorganized wow. these. I reorganized these. I would get like... Put oh, a lot of clothes in a bag that I didn't want anymore, reorganized that. So. Oh, that's very good. And this put. In other sad news, Tugboat is no longer our cat. She has a new home and a new collar with a new <laughs> name, name Maria. What's your name tag? Come over here. Anyways, her name is Maria. I was doing a little exercise surf session with Tate. I noticed some guy was filming us and the waves were tiny. <laughs> it's just basically shore break. And uh, I was just wondering why somebody was filming us. It turned out it was a friend I knew, Jason Kirchy. We used to do video stuff together. And uh, he was filming me wiping out. Uh, yeah, there you go. You get to see me wipe out on an ankle-high wave. Uh, but it's pretty cool with this super slow-mo. So he took some of the footage, thankfully not my wipeout, and put it on uh, the, at his office, at his place of work. So it's like super slow-mo. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. So he, he reached out after the fact. He was like, was that you surfing? So that was kind of fun little happenstance there. The Corps of Engineers or somebody's been doing some work on uh, some of our jetties in the area. So we decided to do a reconnaissance mission. Me, Les, and Tate on Tate's boat. And uh, we'll just see if the surf was going to be good after they've done some of this work in the water, adding jetties and moving sand around. Coming back, we had a little bit of a surprise and saw... Uh, Younger surfer who had stalled out on his jet ski, so we had to do a little rescue out. <laughs> Somehow or another, I, uh, getting off the boat or while on the dock, I left one of my zipper pockets open on my bag and flung my wallet into the water. Our search proved fruitless that night, so I came back the next morning. Couldn't find it, but I did get this shot of a boat leaving the channel. It was kind of nice. YouTube channel member Vebov recommended we try his mom's doll recipe. So we did that one. 
prepared it. We had some friends coming in town, so we tested it on them. More on that in the Masala vlog. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, just going to be B-roll. Y'all don't have to feel awkward. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't vlog, so you know, <laughs> just tell me what to do, man. I can feel <laughs> Yeah, that, that is strong. It's from like some woods and... Yeah, yeah. Like you had to um, put in... Roll some marshmallows or something. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, like burnt. Yeah, yeah. Like cinders. Took Josh and Malcolm to the beach, although the weather didn't quite cooperate. It was kind of a chilly day. Tate uh, led me on a run, and then we did a little short paddle. And uh, while we were on the paddle, I discovered a ladybug in the water. So I did a little rescue op, put him in my hair, and then uh, somehow this ladybug made it all the way back to shore. All right, we've got a codename Ladybug Operation Rescue Op was a success. What are we doing now? <laughs> uh, wallet extraction. Your wallet extraction, that's it. I, I'm 100% I'm sure it's in there. We're going to find it. Wallet extraction was unsuccessful, so we went and had sushi. Dad's birthday got Tell real fancy. Did DQ. Right. Rohan's uh, taking the skateboarding a little more, doing some practicing in the back, and we made a... Uh, uh, quite an interesting discovery in the back area of our apartment complex. Tons of surf. I uploaded a surf video to my new local legend Facebook page, which will be dedicated to chronicling the surfing exploits of our locals. Uh, someone even got a picture of me this week. All right, time for the face off. Hit me, buddo. You won last time. Yeah. See, I scared him away this time. <laughs> About a week after losing the wallet, I got this Facebook message in which an employee at the state park had a customer come up who had found a wallet like almost a half mile away on the beach. So it had drifted through the nights. Of course, I had already canceled all my credit cards and gotten a new driver's license. But, uh, well, I guess we know how the tides work now. <laughs> Join Melissa to watch her friend Kate's play. And then today I stumbled upon this guy. Yeah, this turtle, he was on the side of the road here in the state park. He's going to the beach. Here's the surf's up. Keep in touch. <laughs> if you weren't a kook, you would have seen this video when it uploaded. Join the lineup here on YouTube or become a patron and become a TSVIP and get early and ad free access. See you later.